turning now to Trumbull County and its effort to slow the spread of COVID-19. County buildings are closed, but emergency workers are still on the job. First News reporter Nadine Grimley has that story. Well, emergency officials here in Trumbull County are asking people to heed the warnings and stay home unless it's essential because they believe the worst is yet to come. It's going to get worse. Expect it to get worse. Emergency officials in Trumbull County say they've been working nonstop, coordinating their efforts in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. We don't know what's going to happen in the days ahead. We do know that the leadership in Trumbull County, as far as the services that you expect, are working around the clock to try and mitigate any impact that the COVID-19 virus will have on our community. This is definitely totally different than what we've seen. The emergency operation plan of what we're dealing with is a total new footprint in a lot of areas. Meanwhile, state lawmakers from Trumbull County are meeting daily, working to get more of the much needed personal protective equipment to first responders on the front lines of the battle with this invisible enemy. Of course, uh, there's a shortage and there's uh, I'm trying to work through that. We're working at the state level to get more money and more of this type of equipment to our area. We absolutely want to minimize uh, the loss of life. The county already has what they say is a small stockpile of PPEs, which is in the process of being distributed to local police and fire departments. But they say they could really use emergency funding. When the worst of this hits, and we expect probably two to three weeks, um, we'll exhaust those supplies very quickly. In Warren, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News.